Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and survivors all, and zombies too. Welcome back to Paul Plays Minecraft. Today is Monday, so it's back to the grind, as it were. School, work, caving, you know how it is. Another day, another diamond. So, in fact, I wanted to share with you, huzzah, diamonds. Now, if you recall in the last episode, I was here in, uh, actually at the stronghold and then this ravine. And I had said, well, I'm going to just collect all these goodies and get organi organized and I'll meet you back at Macho Pikachu. However, I found these diamonds and I wanted to share. Oh, nice. And I was hoping I would have a nice fortunate Monday. So far, so not too bad. Ah, well, one extra. My fortune pick. So I guess fortune sort of smiles upon us on this Monday morning. And I got one extra diamond out of that. Not too shabby. I'll grab up some of this redstone while I'm here. And I've got to go back to my base. Got a little bit of a base set up over here. Um, I have not explored all of this yet, however. And it might be worth it. Hello? Um, I'll come back for that. This is a really nice spot. Good morning, Creeper! How are you this morning? Yes, Monday, I know. Terrible, isn't it? Oh, that's the cable guy. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Now, <laughs> I'm, in a, I'm in a kind of a pickle here. So I just restarted the game. And this creeper is about to blow. He's sizzling right now. I'm going to have to do this really quickly. Get back to the game and then smack him away before he blows up. Or I could just block. And I may not take any damage. He's pretty low. If I block, the damage would be most likely extremely insignificant. But I don't want to get hurt. Hurt's bad. Hit good. Get out of here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. All that. <laughs> So I talked about it for 30 seconds, and it was about a split second of actual... Whoa! Combat! Whoa! Okay. Alright, so, Cable Guy's gone. He was here for about a minute and a half, because apparently... Oops. Hey, turn, who turned out the lights? Um, it was an easy fix. Which is odd, because I was on the phone about a half an hour with the tech on Saturday, trying to get HBO to work on one of the boxes I have upstairs. I've got two boxes, cable boxes, and um, it was not working properly. But uh, it's working now. He said all you had to do, all they had to do was pair it up. Um, well, somebody didn't pair properly. Someone doesn't like pairs, apparently. The Saturday crew, they don't know how to pair. All right, well, anyway, it's working now. I'm a happy boy. I can watch my Game of Thrones. That's the only reason I even ordered Cox uh, Cable, HBO, rather. All right, um, wait, this is not the way I came in here, is it? There's a torch over here. This is the way. Yeah, it is. Okay, let me block this off. Um, oh! Something up here. Let's go up there and check it out. Yeah, I won't block this off. Hey! Oh, you little bugger. Come here and say that. Aha! Yeesh! Oh, that was close. Alright, so I think what we'll do is just get out of here. And then, um... Oh, that was my arrow. Oh, I just lost it. That was my miss. And then head back to Pikachu, Macho Pikachu, and come up with something fun to do. Oh, here's a ravine. Is this? That's my ravine. Oh, that'd be an interesting jump, wouldn't it? Um, I doubt I could make that jump. That might be a little too low. That water, a little too shallow. So I think I'll hold off on that leap of faith. Hello! You know, it's 
some folks on Monday morning get prepared for their day by, like, drinking coffee. And then you've got the creeper. Who just likes to explode and go out with a bang on a Monday morning. A short, violent life, indeed. Um, well, this guy's not even going to get the chance to explode. Oh, poor fellow. Yes, Mondays are tough, aren't they? Yes, I can commiserate. Mondays are indeed no fun. Ow, you got me. You got me again. Stand still, so Zach can shoot you. Ooh. He's got a magic bow. Doesn't he? Nope. He did not drop the bow. Alright, well. What do we got here? I just can't stop exploring. Whoa. I almost slipped. Um, I could probably make one of these jumps. This looks kind of deep. Hi! Yeah, I could probably land in this water right here, right? And... Yeah! Whew. Right in the waterfall. And this is where my little forward base be. After I... Oh! There's two creepers! There we go. Lots of iron. So I, <laughs> as you can see here, I have not collected anything that I told you I was going to collect. I was doing some more ranging. Um, and I found all this iron and those diamonds. So I guess we'll just cook this up and then we'll get out of here. So no reason for you guys to watch all this. We'll be back and then uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do back at home. All right, stay tuned. Be right back. I'm back. I just decided to stop here at the stronghold and gather some of these building materials. the uh, Mainly the stone brick, the mossy stone brick, and the cracked stone brick because um, it's going to be nice to have a little more variety when we get back to Macho Pikachu and, uh, and my settlement back at home. We'll have some more options for building. So I think what I'll do is just collect a full stack of each one of these. We've got the mossy, the stone, and the cracked. And then I think what I'll do is take, um, I think I'll take some of these uh, iron bars as well. Because they can be costly to make. I don't want to use up my iron for bars. But you never know when a bar is going to come in handy. I'm going to make some sort of prison for bad people at Vinville. You know when they start acting up? I'll have to take law into my own hands. And put him behind bars. Oh, hi, Redstone! And that one... Hey! I thought that one was a little creepy. That one took too long to bust. Poor little fella. Sleeping in his little block. On a Monday morning, trying to sleep in. And here comes Bad Man with a pick. Breaking up my home and then slapping me with that nasty sword. Just burn my butt right off. <laughs> now that's a rough Monday. We've all had rough Mondays before, but that's ridiculous. Uh, let's do this. Look at this. This is underneath the stairs. This is perfect for dismantling the stronghold because I don't want to destroy the whole thing. It's kind of a historical building, right? We should preserve it as best we can. So I'm just going to take the staircase, which doesn't really matter too much. Oh, we're going to wake up a guy in here, aren't we? Wake up. It's Monday. It's Monday morning, come on. Get to work now. Let's go. There you go, off to work. Bait it. Have a nice day. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Come on now. No sleeping in on a Monday. You must be a productive citizen. Member of this society, you see. You earn your keep and pay your taxes. That's right. Okay, so, uh... <laughs> Wow, this is fun and exciting. Watching me do this, isn't it? So let's talk about something. Um, let me think about a topic, and then uh, maybe we'll talk about it on the way home. Oh, hi. 
Hop on. Hop on the train to work, dear buddy boy. All right, I'll be right back. Now, what on earth could this cute little slimy cube have done to get himself put behind bars? That's what I want to know. Crimes against humanity, you say? You slime somebody? Ah, that's just a misdemeanor. Let's get you out of there. Come on out. Come on. Come on, little fella. The door's open. I'm gonna go have words with your guard. Yeah, that's right. Hop out. You're free. Go. Escape while you can. I'll open the door. Run for your life. Out the door, fella. Here, let me get the door for you. Go ahead. Escape while you can. Up the stairs and out. I'll talk to the guards. There he is. I got him. I'll take care of this. <sighs> Man, there's all kinds of fun down here, isn't there? Oh, oh, another guard. This one looks like he might be the boss. Okay. Yes, I'm leading the way. Right out there. There you go. Go. Down the stairs. That's the way home. No, actually, you should probably climb up. There's a, there's a swamp upstairs. Yeah. Follow me. Come on. Hurry up before they sound the alarm. I'm going to give you a name. What can we call you? Hmm? I'd take you home with me if I could, but it's a long way. And you seem to have issues navigating. There we go. Right through the door. There you go, little fella. All right. I'm uh, I just I got a little sidetracked. And uh, let's see. What do we got here? I'm going to... I'm going to bring some of these iron doors, too, because they can be expensive. Um, maybe not. Maybe not so much. Okay. Let me get organized, and then we'll head home. Me and... Uh, um, I need to call you something. I'm going to come up with some kind of a clever name. All right. Be right back. Okay. I'm back, and I just had an epiphany. I forgot that I had four Eyes of Ender left over, so instead of carrying all this stuff back with me and stuffing my pockets, how about if I just make an Ender chest? I'll leave an Ender chest right here. We'll stuff it with all the goodies that I want to keep, um, or bring back with me, rather. And then I'll make another one when I get home. Now, the only drawback is that I have to use my... I'll have to use at least two Eyes of Ender. That leaves only two left to fill up the frame, um, the end portal frame, which is around here somewhere. Yeah, I know. I'm ready to go, too. Prison break. Let's do this. You need a name. Huh, little guy. Can't keep calling you a little guy. That's degrading. How about, um... I was thinking, like, squishy or sloppy or... That's too obvious. You really need a name like Frank. But that's not really very appropriate for a little green slime. How about, um... I was thinking maybe Booger. Booger's kind of a cool name. A little green slimy guy. Okay, Booger. And Booger, I'm afraid I'm going to have to put you back <laughs> in your cage. Uh, because I have to head down to the lava level. i got to go back down and get my obsidian. So, I know, back into the cage with you now. I just have to get this door to work right. Yeah, sorry, pal. Uh, listen, prison break is still on. I'll be... Don't jump in front of the pick. You'll get hurt. Um, how about if we call you Booger, but that's, that's kind of too obvious. How about Phlegm? That's green and sticky. Gross, right? Phlegm? Booger Phlegm? Fleming! <laughs> Booger! How about Booger Fleming? Yes! Perfect! That sounds like a good name for a prisoner. Oh, dear. I'm gonna I'll hop right out of there. All right, Booger Fleming. Hang tight. I'll be back. I'm just going to get a little obsidian. Try to keep it close so he doesn't despawn. <laughs> I never had a slime pet. Should be interesting. I'll be back, little bugger. I'll be back. I heard some lava over here somewhere. Um, that way I can maybe just make some obsidian around here instead of going all the way back. I definitely heard some over here somewhere. All right, let me go get some obsidian. And I will be right back. Ooh, that's a nice bow. Not nice enough. Oh! Wow, this prison is populated 
more than I had expected. There you go. Let me just take care of that, fellas. Sorry, I'm only here for, for Booger Fleming. I'd help you all out, but um, he's my bud. We go way back. Okay, I'm back. I've got 17 obsidian. That's the good news, but the best news? My buddy Booger Fleming is still alive! I thought maybe the guards would come and take him outside and execute him. I think they know what our plan is. They know we're planning an escape, pal. Listen, I'll come back for you. I've got to go get organized, okay? Just act natural. Big storm going on outside, too. Whoops. So, let's get ready here. I'm going to make up this... Uh, um, I suppose I should just make two. So I'm going to carry one with me. I'm going to put one down. Let's put one here. Bam! And I need to carry this one with me, so when we get back to Macho, I can place it. And we'll have access to all these goodies. The Eyes of Ender I'm going to put in here. Um, actually, you know, I'm going to bring those... Let's go plug those into the, uh, into the end portal frame. By the way, I stopped. I found a chest. I got lost in the stronghold um, heading back down, and I found a chest with iron chest plate and an iron sword. So, nah, not too great, but... Um, I was hoping for something cool, like something magical. But I'll just keep that here in case I ever come back and I need backup. Alright, let's put you in there. And I'm going to carry you in case somebody gets hurt on the way back. I still have my other pets upstairs waiting for me patiently. And gunpowder can go in there. I'm going to definitely carry you. Put a slime ball in there. Okay, I think we're looking good. Although I want... I do have some building materials. I'd like to bring that with. Uh, the rest of this stuff I'll just leave back here. That's fine. Okay. Although, let's just bring an iron sword. Okay. So, uh, we'll go get Booger Fleming in a minute. I should prop. You know what? Maybe I'll grab a few more of these doors. I and mean, he's going to have trouble getting through anyway. I think this is the way we came in, right? Yes. I think so. Yes. That's it right there. Oh, that ain't it. That must be solitary confinement. That's for little bad slimes that don't get along with the other prisoners. It's for the ones that are more aggressive and start fights and they have to go into solitary. Okay. Booger, you ready? Stand back, Mr. Fleming. Here we go. Come on, follow me. Prison break. There's no guards around. Good job. Let's go. Uh, what the devil are you doing down here, cat? Cusco. Meet Booger. Don't eat him. Yeah. <laughs> he just looked at him like, oh, where's this guy? Uh, he's a little slimy. Come on. Fleming. Cat. Let's go. We got to get out of here. Not sure why the cat teleported to me. That was bizarre. All right, anything else we need while we're here? I don't think so. I guess I can just carry this door. I'm not going to go back and stuff it away. Plenty of space. Let's go. Let's go. Now, it's so unfortunate that we can't have slime pits because they are the coolest. My son, Chief, would just love little slime pits. He hates when I kill them. Um, I think follow these torches. All right. This way. Now I lost my cat. All right. Well, since he's so slow, might as well grab some of these bars on the way. Oops. I don't want that. Come on! Cusco, come! Whoa! I hear a big one. There's another slime here. It might be upstairs. Here we go. There's the frame. It might be up in the... Uh, we're pretty close to the swamp. We're high up near the surface. Alright, here's the other library. This way! Booger! Yes! Freedom and friends! Freedom and friends just around the corner. We just have to get you through here. Watch out for the little bugs. How many do I need of these guys? I'm just going to plug in a few right now. So we have... One, two, three, four, five. I need six more? Really? Oh, guys, stay out of the lava. Please. Please stay out of the lava. Come on. Where's my cat? Where's my darn cat? Oh, my God. Up. <gasps> oh. Climb! 
Oh no, just you know what? I think slimes. Oh no. Can you get up here, buddy? I have a feeling slimes take fall damage. So we're gonna have to make sure that he's safe. I feel like I'm making a safe. This is like what I do with Minecraft Mom, with my wife when we play with the kids. <laughs> I make safe passage everywhere. No, you gotta get up here, buddy. Come on. You can do it. Cat. Cusco, go, 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 go. Ah, look out behind you. Got him. Sending in the big guns. Oh, I thought Booger hit me. Booger, I was going to be very upset with you there. It was not Booger. All right, we're almost there. We're almost at the top. I can hear the dogs. Hurry. Oh, hopefully that's not the guards. The prison dogs. They'll sniff you right out, Booger. No, no, that's the wrong way. Up, up. Yes, almost there. Come on, we're almost home free, buddy. There's a big swap up here just waiting for you. Why are you doing that? Up, 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 fella, up. Are all prison breaks this difficult? No wonder it's so hard to get out of prison. I guess that's a good thing. You can do it. Come on, booger. Up, up, up. Oh, it's daylight. This is good. Come on, you're almost home. Your family's been waiting. Hey, you know what? Yes, this is probably not... I'm not being a very good role model right here. This is a demonstration of uh, breaking the law, which... Oh, there's a guy over there! Come on. But he's such a little guy. Look at him. He's so young. He's got his whole life in front of him, ahead of him, and he's... He doesn't deserve being put in jail. Besides, the guards forgot all about him. He's, he's paid his dues. There's your there's your mommy. There you go, Booger. Say hi to mommy, Booger. Goodbye, Booger Fleming. Have a nice life. Reunited. Now let's get out of here. Whoa. Booger, stay. He's going to come after me, too. Did save his life. There's some kind of a blood debt, I'm sure, or something. Okay, let's get out of here before uh, Booger gets any ideas. No, Booger, you stay! No! Stay in the swamp. This is where you belong. All right, now let's get the dickens out of here. Everybody's good? There he goes. He just wants to say goodbye. One last final wave. Goodbye, Booger! I think we've got to go that way, all right? Um, whoops, <laughs> wrong button. Uh, we came east, I think. Yeah, okay, there we go. Whew. Successful prison break. Let that be a lesson to you all. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the lesson is. I guess um, if you find an innocent slime in prison, I, th I think he was wrongfully accused for sliming. Then uh, set him free. Oh, I hope my pets stick with me here. Let's see. If I get to the shoreline, they should zip right to me. And then I'm just going to hoof it back, and I'll meet you back at Machu Picchu. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to get anything accomplished today. Whoa! Slow down, Nelly. All right. Do we have everybody? Head count. Roll call. One, two, three. Awesome. Well, let's do this. Follow the torches. I'll meet you all back at oh, Macho Pikachu. Stay tuned. Okay, we are at the Vinville station. And that's it. We're home. Huh, <sighs> home sweet home after spending a couple of days. Whoa, watch out, wild dog. A couple of days out in the wild. You guys alright down there? Oh, look at this. The vines have all grown up around the house. I've been away. The neighbors are probably not very happy with me. Look at all those vines. That guy doesn't take care of his lawn. All right, let's see. What what can we put in the junk drawer? Nothing for right now, huh? There's really no junk. Well, a little flesh, I guess. Okay, let's go... Let's go find a spot for our ender chest. My guess would be probably down here would be the most likely spot huh right down here next to the bed 
Um, oh man, dilemmas, dilemmas. Let, let's put it over here by by my head. That's the safest spot. Okay, perfect. And there's all the stuff so I've been looking for. All right, and now we just do like a transfer thingy, and then I'm gonna get all organized here. Um, not a bad haul, huh? Not a bad haul indeed. Okay, I will not subject you to the boring uh, inventory management tasks, so we're going to go ahead and call it, I think, for this episode. So I hope you all enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. And then uh, next time, I think we'll get started on it like a real project. <laughs> We've had some fun and adventure, and I think now it's time to... Um, put some of the stuff to use and I think what we'll do is head over to Vinville and set up some kind of a daylight sensor um, so when the Sun goes down we can try to enclose our neighbors in like a, you know nice safe houses we'll see how that works I'm not sure if that's gonna work out but otherwise we'll make up some houses and uh, just I guess trap them anyway okay I think we're done here we'll see you all soon have a nice day bye bye Nice. I'm still helping. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are here in, well, heads. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Dude, can you, here, make, make, your, make them a sign. <laughs>